And three, two, one, here we go. So um, this is kind of a crazy morning. I had no intentions of making another video, but uh, very spontaneous today. Um, I want to come with something that's very real, very fresh, very raw right now um, that's happened in my life in the last week or so. Um, you know, worship is one of those words we throw around and uh, it's all happy, happy, love, love, good, good. And worship is awesome. Worship is a wonderful part of life. Um, what about worship when worship's hard? Uh, do you ever get to the times where worship is hard? It's hard to find that sweet spot. Um, I've been there. And I, I'm going to tell you a little bit. I, I don't want to get too deep in it. It's not a big deal. Um, a lot been going on this week, um, or this month, actually. Um, moved my daughter and son-in-law and my beautiful little grandbaby five hours away. Um, on the 12th, so the few days before the 12th, we were crazy getting packed up, went with them, stayed um, a week or so, uh, was awesome, um, met a lot of people that they'll be uh, in church with and friends with, and um, got to visit, had a great time, uh, a lot of work, uh, tried to take care of myself, but in it, not hurt, not doing anything hard, I stood up and pinched a nerve in my back. Uh so I have had to deal with that since coming home um, after driving five hours back on a pinched nerve. My leg and my foot has been numb. Um, the most comfortable places to uh, be were either standing straight up or laying flat out on the floor on my stomach, which has never been comfy. But So I've had to deal with that for about the past uh, eight or ten days, uh, the pinched nerve deal. And it's really put a hamper on me wanting to get back to my normal morning worship routine that I have, my quiet time, my little special spot, my blanket, my books, my coffee, my my morning walk, all of that stuff that just I look so forward to, it didn't happen when I came back home. I couldn't do it. Um, so it really threw me for a loop. I'm a routine person. Um, it threw me for a loop. Not going to sit here and lie and tell you that, I, which I was in extreme pain. I was in extreme pain to begin with. I'm much better today. Much, much better. Uh, we're still working on it, but it, it's getting better. I'm going to, it's going to be okay. Um, but when I got out of my routine, it was very hard um, because I didn't feel, oh, happy, happy and all ready. And I was hurting. I was in pain. I couldn't sit. I couldn't get comfortable. I was having to lay on the floor. It, you know, I got, I, I went into my little pity party. I ain't, I'm not going to lie. not going to lie. Um, you know, I was like, I was so excited to get back and, and sit with you and soak with you, Lord. And now this. But you know what? Sometimes worship is not a spontaneous thing that just comes on you. Sometimes worship has to be worked for. Um, and not in a work sense, like I can make it happen. But in a sense of, I have to determine, I have to determine that I know truth. I'm going to speak truth regardless of how I feel in the moment. Did I feel worshipful? Did I feel like I could get up and dance or, or raise my hands and praise Jesus or just sit and just be so overcome when I had extreme pain going on? No, I didn't feel that. I mean, I deal with chronic pain. There's a lot of people that deal with chronic pain. It is hard some days. It is extremely hard but the part I want to tell you about today I'm going to get off all that hard stuff the part I want to tell you about today is I was just overcome this morning just overcome this morning with how good he is how sweet it can be even when it doesn't look like the worship that we want I was actually able to sit for a minute this morning so that was amazing in itself but the worship came because for the past week I said I, I want to sit with my Jesus I want I need this time I have been out of eh, just all messed up I need it I would lay on the floor get my devotion books out get my Bible out flip over on my back whatever it took did I feel overcome right then no but I said I'm gonna thank you for what I do have to praise you for. I can get up by myself. I don't have to be uh, waited on. So if I had to choose, I'd rather be able to choose to stand up with this pinch nerve and move my body 
than to have to sit and not be able to get up. Something to praise for. There's always something to be grateful for. So I begin to pick out those little things that normally I would never think of. But I started to pick out those things and I just started praising him for them the other day. And each day I was finding more and more that, well, if it had to be a pinched nerve, I'm glad it's this one and not this one. And, you know, this and this and this. And thank you, Jesus, that I am at home now where I can take a rest break when I need it. Um, just all kinds of things. And you know what? When I changed my focus from being about poor little Sheila and what she looking to do. Um, wow. Wow. He brought the happiness, the sweetness. Even if it was in my perfect little nest over there with my blanket and my coffee cup. Maybe I was laying on my back on the floor and holding my Bible up over me. Um, but you know what? That word is the same. My Jesus is the same. And he is healing my back. He, whatever it is. Um, that, that, that's what came to me this morning as I was just completely overcome with how good he is. How much he loves me. And that it doesn't matter to him if I worked 18 hours a day today on his work or if I had to lay on my stomach all day long to be out of pain and just praise him. He loves me the exact same amount. That blows me away. I, I really don't know if I'll ever be able to grasp that. How much he loves me. And it has nothing to do with me, my health, my abilities, nothing. He just loves me. I don't get it. I really don't. But I am so, so thankful that he does love me enough to say, I see you, Sheila. I know your back is hurting. I know this is not what you want. But let I want you to rest for a minute. And let me show you that worship doesn't have to be exactly like we think it should look. It can be in the kitchen washing dishes. It can be, uh, you know, caring for an elderly one one day. It can be in the mundane, the, the things that we don't choose, the things that we don't want here. We don't want to be here in this. But there is worship wherever he is. And wherever you call on his name, that has been my morning this morning. It, whew, you know, have I had a miraculous healing? No, but you know what? I had a healing in my soul this morning that, you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what happens to me, my body, or what situation comes tomorrow. I can worship wherever I can meet with him, and that's wherever I stop and call his name. Jesus is so, so sweet, and he wants nothing more than to worship with you wherever, whenever. There is no perfect equation. If you're a young, if you're a young mom with babies everywhere and poop everywhere and feeding and crying and all of that, Five minutes in the bathroom, he can bring you worship. If you're if you're caring for elderly parents, it can be that sweet time that you're just sitting there holding their hand, and he can come in. It's everywhere. It's everywhere we want to be with him. We bring worship when we come to him, and he just feels it. We just express it. So I just I just had to share that today. Um, I hope you get something out of it. I know I have. He has really spoken to me in a way that, that he, anyway, it's been a great morning. You get what I'm saying. All right. I love you and I'll see you later. Bye.